G'day crypto goers, it's time we had a look at Binance. This is a fantastic exchange site for cryptos. It's very handy because it's got a lot of altcoins and the fees for exchanging are very low. It's also a big site with huge volume so you can get some really good trade out there with security. If you haven't joined this site, please use the link in the description below. I do recommend that you use the link, firstly because it's my affiliate link, but secondly because it ensures that you don't go to one of the shadow sites that are out there. Moving forward, the three things you will gain in knowledge at the end of this video is how to deposit, exchange and withdraw cryptos on this site let's get into it here we are on the home page in the first instance you are going to have to either register if you've never used the site or log in of which I have already done here we are logged in on my home page which doesn't look much different you will then need to put some type of cryptocurrency into this site on this site you cannot use fiat currency that being American dollars Australian dollars British pound sterling etc to buy cryptocurrencies. If you don't have any cryptocurrency to start off with, you're gonna to have to get some from another site or through an ATM or through mining it or through a gift or through selling something and put the Bitcoin or other coins into this site so you can then trade. So if you've never bought Bitcoin or other cryptos before and you only have fiat currency to do so at the moment, if you're an Australian, I recommend CoinSpot, affiliate link below. This is a big secure Australian site. Another site you could use if you are not Australian or Australian, we have more choices down under. You could use Coinbase. You've also got other ones like CoinJar, etc. But today I have already put in some cryptocurrencies and I'm gonna show you how I did that. In the first instance, logged in. In the second instance, I went to funds and then I went to deposit. I needed to go to deposit because I needed to put some type of currency into my account. You can see here on the right side of the screen, there is a history of the other coins that I have put in here. So as an experiment, I put in some Bitcoin cash that I had mined, some Sire coin that I had mined, and just before this video, I put in some Bitcoin that I had also mined. On the left-hand side, this is where you will have to deposit whatever you want. So note we have all these different coins down here, lots and lots of different coins that you can deposit directly into this site. So I, in the first instance, did some Bitcoin, but you might, as an example, let's say you want to put in some Dash. So you'd click on Dash, it'll generate a QR code. You will complete a transaction as you would with any other cryptocurrency. Simply copy that address and transfer money into this deposit address. Once you've done that, you will see it come up here on the right hand side. We're still waiting for this Bitcoin transaction to be complete because we've only got one of two confirmations. Note here it says coins will be deposited immediately after 10 network confirmations. Uh, that's for Dash. I note that whenever I use a different coin, here we'll do Cardano as an example. Here it's after 15 network confirmations. And if I just randomly grab, here you go, data, uh, that's 30 network confirmations. But with Bitcoin, as I've just recently deposited, it's two network confirmations, and we've got one of those two confirmations completed over here. And that is essentially it. You've now completed step one. You have now put money into your account. And if you want to check your balances, again, you go up to this funds button. This is your button that you'll use a fair bit and you simply go to balances. And a list will come up with all the balances that you have in all your accounts. Now, note, this is every single wallet, every single coin that's available through the Binance site. And they're all listed at zero for me except for the ones where I've actually made a deposit, that being Sirecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and that's why they're at the top. And then eventually when that Bitcoin transaction, which is down here, goes through, it's now registering at zero, but once that second confirmation is complete, we're gonna see that in my account. And of course, with the power that is video, we will double check that those balances are in there now. I'm just gonna refresh the balances, and there we have it, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin and Sirecoin all up the top there. We can see my balances because I have put money into those wallets. Step one complete. Let's move to step two. We need to exchange. So in this example, I'm gonna swap some Bitcoin for Skycoin. To do that, I first go to exchange and I could go to a basic view or an advanced view, but because this is a beginner course, we're gonna go with the basic first. And let's get a bit of familiarization with this home page. It looks a bit busy, but again, let's look at the trees through the forest. Everything on the left are the public, as in the entire markets, buy and sell orders. Note at the moment we are in the Bitcoin markets. There are different markets. You have a Bitcoin market, an Ethereum market, a USDT market, which is Tether, and you also have a Binance market. So Binance has its own coin. 
but I'll talk about that a bit later. In the first instance, all we're going to do is I'm going to sell some Bitcoin for Skycoin. And there's three ways I could do it here. I can do it at a limit, a market, or a stop limit. Because this is intro to finance and we're going to keep it very simple, I'm simply just going to go to market. These are the three options that you have to buy and today we're just going to do the market. So I can see here I'm in the Bitcoin USDT markets, but I don't want to buy USDT. I want to buy Skycoin. And the way I do that is over here. These are the pairs. And what we mean by pairs is that I have Bitcoin and I can swap Bitcoin for any one of those cryptocurrencies listed on this site. And you can see it down here. These are all the different coins that I can swap Bitcoin for something else. Now, if you don't know the code, the way to figure out the code is to either look at your balances because it will be listed there within your balances. Uh, a quick example of that is here. We go to funds, balances, and if I don't know what a, a coin is called, what the name of it is, remember here are the names of the coins and here are the codes right next to it. Look, when you get in the space for a while, you just get to know all the codes off by heart, except for new ones, new coins are always coming in. You do have to sometimes check what these new coins are called or what the codes are, but typically you will get familiar with what these codes are. Okay, so once you figure out the code and noting I wanna buy Skycoin, so I can just double check that. I know that's the code for Skycoin is Sky. So we go, we scroll down until we see, I'm also looking for a little cloud logo here, and here it is, it's Skycoin, and we can see that this is the Skycoin logo. I could even click on that if I wanted to, to go into a bit of uh, information about the coin itself. You want to do some research on the coin, you can look at the markets, you can look at uh, some of the reports that are out there, but this is a basic course, so we're not going to go into that too much. We're going to go buy some stuff. Note that has created a new tab. I'm going to go back to where I was before. So I go to Exchange. I'm going to go to the Basic View. I'm going to go to Market because I'm going to keep this very simple. And at the moment, it's set up BTC to buy uh, Tether. But I don't want to buy Tether. I want to buy Skycoin. So I scroll down here. It is in alphabetical order, which, which makes it much simpler. And here it is. We can see my Skycoin Bitcoin it's currently, it's currently trading at $6.56, so I click on that. And by clicking on that, you can see now it says buy Skycoin uh, with a, a balance of 003. This balance here, this is how much money I have in Bitcoin to buy Skycoin. Now, if I wanted to sell Skycoin, I could do it on this side. But noting I don't have any Skycoin in this exchange, I can't do that. So in the very first instance, I want to use all of this money here. This is all the money I have in Bitcoin, or all the quantity of Bitcoins I have, which is 0 0.003. And the absolute easiest way I could do this to buy Skycoin is I say, right, I'm going to use all of this money. So I click 100%, which is all of my Bitcoin. And if I sell all of my Bitcoin here, it tells me the amount, it says 2851, 2.851 Skycoins. A little note here, here it says amount. I actually think that that word should be quantity. It's semantics, I realize, and you can argue that uh, 2.851 Skycoins is an amount, but I think it would actually be easier if this said quantity. So this is the price and this is the quantity, even though it says amount. So essentially, I have just simply clicked 100%, which I'm saying I want to spend 100% of my Bitcoin to buy as many Skycoins as I can at the market price. This is the simplest way. Remember, we can also do it at limits and stop limits, but that's in another video. We're keeping it simple today. We're just going to buy some Sky with Bitcoin. Now, of course, if I wanted to not use all of my Bitcoin, I could use 75% of my Bitcoin or 50% of my Bitcoin or 25% of my Bitcoin. And you can see this number changing respectively. This amount or quantity, as I mentioned, is how many Sky coins I could buy for it. There's another way I could do it here. I could say, right, I just simply want to buy two sky coins i know i've got enough bitcoin there to buy two so i just write two it, then it will work out exactly how much bitcoin will ne be needed to purchase those two sky coins so you can choose a quantity of sky coins or you can choose a percentage of your total bitcoin balance i can see here this is the fee and this is why this is appealing to my crypto brothers and sisters who are already in the space look at that fee that's 0.05 percent that's cheap that's really cheap that's why I'm starting to buy here a bit more. So in this instance, I'm going to spend 50% of all my Bitcoin that I have in this account. And I'm going to buy 1.425 Skycoins. The fee is going to be 0.05%. And we can see that's remarkably cheap. And I cl simply click Buy Sky. 
and up here we can see the market order has been created this order will now go over into the markets which we'll see somewhere over here note because i am buying sky coin there will be a buy order here so that order has gone in at market and if we want to see if that order has gone in we can go over to here to the trade history and click on yours so market this is everyone's trades but i want only want to know mine which says yours and here we can see it uh, the trade history is that amount for this many sky coins at that time and if we actually looked for that number you could actually see it over here in this list it's actually been swallowed into the abyss already so we've put money into the account We've now done an exchange from Bitcoin to Skycoin. We've checked our trade history to see that it has actually gone through. And we now we're really gonna check that it's gone through by checking our wallets. We then go up to our friend funds, uh, click on balances, and we should now see four balances being Skycoin, Skycoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin itself. And you can see, there you have it. I now have some Skycoin. I have 1.42357500 Skycoins off that little exchange there. It was a very cheap exchange, as in the fee was very low. It was very quick. And I now have a wallet with a Skycoin held in it, a one and a half Skycoins. Remember, some say exchanges are like public bathrooms. You get in, you do your business, and then you get out, of which I intend to do right now in the sense that I'm going to take this Skycoin, and instead of leaving it in here, I'm going to put it in a more secure wallet, that being my Skycoin wallet itself, where I can actually earn some Skycoin hours. You could also put this onto a ledger, you could print it out, but many recommend that you don't leave coins in exchanges in case that exchange is compromised, in case it collapses, in case something goes wrong. You basically want to come to exchanges just to do the exchange and then get your money out of there. And that is a great segue into the third part of today's lesson, which is a withdrawal from Binance. So in order to do this, we don't actually click on the icon or Skycoin itself because that will just give us market information. We again go up to our funds tab and go to withdrawals. And it is now essentially just a reverse of doing a deposit. So again, we have two screens. The left side is the withdrawals of the actions I'm going to do now and the right side is my history. Note I have no withdrawals from what this site at the moment. So we're going to do a first one together. I select the coin that I want to withdraw. I could scroll down or simply write Sky. I'm going to withdraw my from my Skycoin wallet. And here we can see my total balance is, as mentioned there before, and I have to put in a Skycoin address. To do that, I get that from my Skycoin wallet. I paste that address in there. We can see here that there is a limit because of the tier that I am at that moment. That is, I can only take out 2 BTC worth of cryptocurrencies from this site every day. However, if I provide more verification of who I am, as in more ID, more confirmation, this limit can go up and you can actually withdraw far more than 2 Bitcoin. But because I have limited verification at this stage, the maximum is 2 Bitcoins worth per day, which is still a fair bit. But if I wanted to verify myself even further, I could take out much more from this site. But at this stage, I'm taking out like three bucks, so it doesn't really matter. So I put in this address, but I have to tell them how much Skycoin I want to transfer. And here I've got this much available, 1.423. So that's how much I'm going to put in. And to put that amount in, I just simply clicked on that. And that automatically populated. But of course, I could change it. If I only wanted to put one, I could do that. But I don't. I want to transfer all of it because I want to get all of my Skycoin out of here. I press submit, Google two-factor authentication, and just as per any other 2FA authentication, it's now sent me an email to confirm that withdrawal. I receive this email, I check, yes, that's how much I asked. Yes, that was the address I was sending it to. Uh, it all looks good, I confirm the withdrawal, and that is done. After receiving a withdrawal request confirmation, I can then triple check my work by, of course, going to my wallets. Uh, I do that by going to my balances. So again, go up to my funds tab, click on balances. Remember, we have to wait for these transactions to be cleared through the blockchain. So although there is a balancer at the moment, we wait a few minutes. We then refresh the page and it's dropped down, not entirely to zero because we, I didn't actually transfer all of the Skycoin. I left some behind. So we can see there is a very tiny balance left there of triple oh five seven five hundred of a sky coin which is a few cents and all the other balances still left but we can see that that transaction has successfully gone through and if i want to do one last check i can again go to my funds tab go to withdrawals or transaction history both would show this 
uh, but because we have been working with withdrawals tab we'll go to the withdrawals again and you can see here on the history side of my withdrawals tab it has gone out that being 1.413 sky coins Okay, that is it for today, my crypto brothers and sisters. Points to remember, Binance is a fantastic site to get the altcoins. You can't use fiat currency here. You'll have to import crypto from somewhere else, any type of crypto that you can see listed here. You can then use that crypto to buy any of the other altcoins. There is an advanced and basic way of exchanging. Today we did the absolute basics. If you'd like to know some more about the advanced trading functions on this site, leave your comments below and we'll make another video for you. Remember, if you haven't joined Binance yet, please use the affiliate link below. It'll help me help you, as well as ensuring that you are secure in joining this site. You may also like to look at joining CoinSpot if you want to use fiat currency to buy cryptocurrency. You could also look at something like Coinbase or CoinJar. All right, guys, that's all I have. Thanks for listening. Talk to you next time.